Hey there. I wanted to give you a tutorial of the Genesis client portal. So when you are signing your insured up with credentials for the client portal, when they want to access the portal, all they have to go to is a web browser and type in the URL yourinsuranceportal.com. When they do that, they'll sign in and this is the first screen that they're going to see the dashboard of their portal. So I'll give you a quick overview of this portal. Over on the left, this is going to be easy, quick access right back to the dashboard, which is what we are on now. My account is just going to show me my password to log into the portal. So your insured can change their password that they use to log into the portal and all they have to do is change that here. Contact is going to be your agency's contact information. So this is how they are going to know how to get in touch with you as their insurance agent. And then of course, this is how they're going to log out of the portal. So let's hop back to the dashboard and we'll talk about the tabs that you're seeing here at the top. So the first tab is my information tab. This is where your insured will see first insured information on their profile in Genesis and second insured information on their profile. And then if they scroll down, they can also see their contact information. So this is going to be their business name if they have one and then their address that you have set up for them in Genesis as well as contact information for them. Up next, we have our policies tab. This is where your insured can see any and all policies that they have with your agency. So right now it's going to default to active policies. So at first they're going to see all policies here that are active. If they want to click and go further into, for example, this personal auto policy, they can get a little bit more information here. So they can see the company that they're with, the policy number, as well as some additional information. And then over on the right, they can see the term of this specific policy, effective dates, the total premium, and the last payment that they made. Now, one thing that I want to be clear on here is this is pulling from the receding feature in Genesis. So if you are not using the receding feature in Genesis, your customer will not see a last payment date here. If we go back to the policies tab, they can filter between statuses. So if they click on all, they can then see any prior term policies listed here, as well as any canceled policies too. So let's go back to active. Over on the right, you're going to see a make a payment button. You can create a link in Genesis for this particular carrier and it offers your insured easy access to make a payment directly on the company website. And same goes for filing a claim. So you are able to link where they need to go for in this example, Progressive, to submit a claim. You can put that link right here. So when they cl click this make a claim button, they'll go directly to being able to file a claim on Progressive's website. Next up, we have payment history. This is also pulling from the receding feature in Genesis. So if you are using the receding feature, it will track this in the client portal. If the customer would like to view and or print that receipt, they're able to do so here. Next up, we have ID cards. So your customer will be able to generate an ID card for their vehicles if they'd like to. And I'll run through this really quickly with you. So all they have to do is select the policy that has the vehicles that they would like to create an ID card for. Hit next, then they can select the specific vehicle. Here, they can get their ID card. It's gonna pull the ID card up in a new tab at the top here where they can print it if they would like. And then if they want to email this ID card to themselves, they can do that as well. Next up, we have certificates of insurance where your customer can generate a certificate of insurance that has already been generated in Genesis. So this is pulling from all of the certificates of insurance that are currently in Genesis for this customer. If they want to generate that specific certificate of insurance, they select the certificate holder that they would like to send that to, hit next. 
same as the ID card, they can do get certificate. It's going to show up in a new tab for them at the top where they can print that certificate. And then they could also email the certificate to themselves or the certificate holder if they would like to do that as well. One quick thing that I would like to mention too is that they are able to add a new certificate holder here as well. So if they wanted to add a brand new certificate holder, they could. And then this would also reflect in the certificate holder section of Genesis. So that's it. That's the client portal. If you're interested, give us a call and we're happy to help. Thanks.